Allahu 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 Allah. You're right. That everyone claims that their perspective and their argument is the correct one. But not every argument is correct one. When you go to the court, two parties go to the court or more, and everyone is claiming that their claim is the correct one. But then ju the judge makes the decision, and one of them is actually correct. So when there are two people claiming uh, the ownership of the same thing, only one is right. So one of them is lying. So in, similarly, in this context, uh, there is one Lord, there is one Allah, there is one creator of this universe. All of the Abrahamic religions agree on that. The Lord, the Allah, the creator is the one. Some of uh, some Abraham, Abrahamic or the revealed religions uh, have uh, included some, Nauzubillah, some shirk, some um, polytheism in their uh, religion, but uh, many agree that they, they, that that is uh, like uh, addition to the original religion. So um, when the Creator is one, that a whole universe is created by one Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, then there must be one religion, one way of reaching Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, one way of worshiping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, one discipline, uh, one constitution that must have come from the Creator. So, out of all of the religions on the earth right now, uh, we would have to figure out that which ones are lying, and only one of them has to be the one, uh, the people of only one of the religions uh, have to be the ones who are not lying. So, uh, what we can do is start knocking out um, the religions uh, based on uh, some criteria. So first of all, uh, take the religions who, who promote the worship of uh, idols. So just from the co common sense without going into any arguments, they believe in gods, uh, uh, made out of stones. And they worship the statues that they have made with their own hands. So it's a very common sense that, that those stones, those uh, carved out uh, statues, idols, cannot be the gods, obviously. That's very com common sense. So all of the religions promoting idol worship uh, are, are obviously not the ones uh, that were sent by uh, the Creator Himself. So, uh, based on that, then there are many other religions that they have like uh, very little following and uh, a fraction of the following uh, all over the world. And uh, the common sense tells that if they were actually the religions uh, of the Creator, then uh, the Creator must have given some uh, followership to them as well. So, we can knock out all of the religions in the different regions of the world. So then we come to uh, the two religions that have the most following in all, most following all over the world. The Christianity comes as the first religion that has most followers, and then and there is Islam that has the second most followers in the world. So Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. These are the three religions that are agreed upon that they are the, that we call Abrahamic religions that were uh, revealed to the prophets uh, from the children of from the lineage of uh, and Prophet Abraham, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. So these are these three are the Abrahamic religions, uh, and these are the ones that that that. They claim that they were revealed to the prophets sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And two of them have the most following all over the world and among all of the other beliefs and religions. So we would have to basically, we have narrowed down to the religions, three religions. Uh, the, those are the Abrahamic religions that, those are actually the only ones who claim to be, uh, to have come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, from the Creator. So we would have to now 
now knock out two of them to reach to the third one the only one that came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if you study Judaism and if you study Christianity you would find many signals many signs and many explanations both of those religions talk about a prophet that would come with the true religion true constitution with a true book from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and both of these religions have signs which tell and talk about the last Prophet Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not only that they have now changed their books uh, to, a lot, uh, to a lot of extent but those books contained the signs of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that's exactly why the tribes of uh, Jews had come to, uh, to live in the land of Medina uh, 1400 years ago maybe more than that because they were expecting a prophet to come at the, in, uh, in that land and, and then Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam actually came, uh, came like uh, he, he was uh, uh, born and raised in uh, Makkah al Mukarramah and then he migrated to Madinah al Munawwarah and that's where his state was established so that's why those tribes are there so it's just very uh, common knowledge available in the uh, in, in Bible and in you know, Torah and other Abrahamic books that Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last one that would come and he did come and came with the true knowledge so anyone who wants to find the truth should find the signs of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in those books and try to find uh, the most authentic scriptures the oldest ones instead of the ones available in the market because they have been changed a lot for one that Islam is the only religion because it is one of the three Abrahamic religions and out of these three two of them already explain the signs of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, the last prophet and so it is the obligation of uh, those two uh, followers of those two religions to come and follow uh, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because their own prophets uh, told their people to wait and follow Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa when he arrives for one the second thing and the most important and agreed upon is a sort of a universal fact is that the books of the of any religion have been changed and altered a lot there is no one version of Bible you can get a lot and do, like dozens of different versions and uh, alterations of uh, Bible same is the case with Torah but if you pick a Quran anywhere in the world either new or old if you go to any library and take out uh, an old scriptures from hundreds of years ago of uh, Al Quran Al Karim and if you pick a very modern a book of like very modern uh, Quran al Karim from anywhere in the world either it's in Africa, India, Pakistan a Muslim country or non-Muslim and you compare them and take many scriptures from hundreds of years ago and start picking them from different places and you would find each one of them precisely the same each one of them precisely the same I cannot stress it enough Take any Quran, any Quran, any printing press, any time, any year, any place in the world, and compare with compare them with each other. You would find them precisely the same. You won't find the difference of a dot. The Arabic version, that's what I'm talking about, obviously. So you would, won't find any difference between any of them. How come that's possible? That's only possible because Quran itself says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that inna nahnu nazzalna wa inna lahu 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we are the ones who have revealed this Quran on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we are the ones that Allah is saying that Allah is the one who would safeguard it and this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is safeguarding it and keeping it in the most authentic and pure form to date for uh, 1400 years now and many more to come so this Quran in itself is the biggest sign if anyone has the slightest curiosity to find the truth Quran in itself and its purity and its like uh, oneness is the proof that this is the truth that cannot happen to any book over um, over like you see one and a half thousand years that cannot happen that that a book would have millions of the copy millions of copies all over the world and it has been around for 1500 uh, around 1500 years and none of the copies would have the arabic version would have any differences among them this is in itself is a very solid and the authentic uh, proof that islam is the only true religion and Quran is the only true book uh, available to the humans uh, right now and Islam is the only religion from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala